Hey, what is up, investors? Jason here. So we're going to be doing a technical analysis of Polygon Matic. So uh, it's been a little while since I've actually talked about this one, and uh, I've left the price predictions in here from the previous video where I talked about Polygon. So it looks like we're kind of on track to actually get to the get to that neutral case scenario. So uh, let's get into this more. So as we do, if you don't mind, please do me a huge favor. Please be sure to smash the story annihilate or just a gently press that like button as always to help me out with the algorithm and help spread the content to more people that might find it interesting and subscribe and push that bell notification. If you have not already now, let's get into this. Now looking over at coinmicrocap.com, Polygon, the 13th largest cryptocurrency by market cap, it is not as volatile over these last seven days as a lot of the other cryptocurrencies where we're not really seeing Polygon down too much, but some of the other cryptos, we are seeing them down uh, quite significantly over these last seven days. So where this really makes Polygon a plus right now is seeing all the volatility over in the crypto market and Polygon still managing to hold a lot and even rise through over the weekend when we're seeing all the other cryptocurrencies dropping. So Polygon still managing to have some sort of gains over um, in their price. And this is something that's really helping them. So this could mean that they were possibly a bit oversold last time. And what we're seeing now within this uh, correction here, that maybe we might be seeing Polygon's price uh, going into an, a more of a bullish Elliott wave structure. So let's look at that right now. So assuming that this is our start of our first wave here, wave one, wave two, say this is our wave three, this is our wave four, and this is our wave five. So what would we be starting hopefully in this next corrective wave, this would be possibly something that could be um, a bullish wave, given the fact that we've already had that whole knee jerk reaction with the whole news from a uh, Jerome Powell, when, when Jerome Powell opens his mouth, we see a big reaction and that's what we've seen. So uh, we, we've taken that dip. We've, we've hit, we got that fifth wave in this new wave that we're starting. And first we'll look at the, the corrective wave here as we could have quite possibly finished our first wave within the next five wave structure. Uh, what this could be, this could be something that possibly could be uh, taking us right into that that neutral level or, you know, the best case scenario would be taking us all the way up into that bullish level. Now, I don't want to be over predicting. So, of course, we, we would say the best possibility that we could see would be the the neutral price prediction of seeing the price go somewhere between uh, around where it's at right now or um, somewhere as high as possibly 90 cents. Now the absolute bullish case scenario would be seeing it uh, somewhere starting at around a dollar to even somewhere around say like a buck 10 or something like that. So uh, that would be the absolute bullish case scenario of seeing Polygon go to that within the next week leading into the beginning of September. So for fun, let's just say that this is a corrective wave here and we have completed the ABC within this corrective wave. And then we would say that this would be our, our first wave within the next five wave structure. And assuming that we could get an idea about where the price would be going from here. So uh, let's look at this as this being our wave one in a bullish uh, Elliott wave, we would correct to possibly somewhere around where we're at right now, we would take that third wave right into that, that, that Fibonacci, see the price correct. Our fourth wave would still be within this neutral zone here within the price. And then our fifth wave possibly could take us out of it or it, who knows where it could go from there. I mean, there can be multiple, um, multiple scenarios that we can play with here like the possibility that we're still within that, that wave one and we would be seeing something like this instead. Let's, uh, let's assume that this is all still part of a wave one structure. And then maybe our, our wave one would be something longer and it would take us into a, a scenario like this. And then we would see that 
that second wave correct. And then we would see that third wave popping right through that uh, Fibonacci level and then see that wave come down a bit. And then who knows where it can go from here. I mean, we, we could end up seeing that bullish case scenario being something that we, it could take another week to get to. But, you know, we might be seeing more of a, a prolonged um, rally here within the price of of Matic, and this would be something that would be due to the Ethereum merge. The closer we get to that, you know, we might be seeing more price movements within within Matic due to that. So, I mean, that's that's another possibility. There's there's multiple scenarios we can really work on, but I really don't think that we're gonna uh, really see that bullish case scenario coming up in the timeline that uh, that uh, i originally predicted just because of all the volatility that we have seen before uh before then so uh the last video we didn't see as much as much resistance within crypto and as much volatility within crypto as we are now so i really think that our neutral case is the the most highly likely scenario by the beginning of september and then a, a new neutral case would be seeing that we could possibly begin to that that back to that one dollar price within Matic by uh, sometime around the end of the first week of September as a possibility there. But anyways, I'd like to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions about this. Do you guys agree? Disagree? What do you guys think that we're going to be seeing the price of of Polygon Matic going to by the uh, by the Ethereum merge? Let's go with that idea there. So uh, with that being said, please like, share, comment, subscribe. New content coming out all the time. I will see you all in the next one coming very soon.